site on the picture. Bro rugby doesn't help either, but catching when I was younger. All right, um, what we're supposed to do here is we want to find the, um, we're going to want to express each of these as either a power of i, negative i, 1, or negative 1. And how we're going to get i, negative i, 1, and negative 1? Well, what we can do is we can determine either is it going to be i, i squared is equal to negative 1, i cubed is equal to negative i, and i to the fourth is equal to one, right? So what we need to do is we need to determine um, what exactly are we going to, you know, we're, what are we gonna have? We have four options we can have. So since we have four options, what we're gonna do is, think of these as kind of like your remainders, all right? You have one, two, three, and four. So what I'm gonna do is I have four options, I'm gonna divide them into this exponent and, or, yeah, into the exponent, and no matter what my remainder is, is going to tell me what power I'm going to put it to. So I look at 40. So I have four options. How many times does 4 go into 40? 10. Is there a remainder? No. So therefore, my remainder is going to be 0, or what we call 4. So therefore, this can be rewritten as 1. Okay? i to the 40 is exactly similar to 1 or i to the fourth. It's the same thing as i to the fourth, which would equal i to the first power. If I looked at i to the 25th, how many times does four, four options, how many times does that go into 25? Six times, right? But it just keeps on repeating that six times. Then after that six times, what, what is my remainder? One. One. So therefore, this is going to be, we can represent this one as i. Since I have a remainder of one, I represent it as i. Does that make sense? Let me think. Of, let me put it to you this way. Let's add in i to the fifth. Right? You can write i to the fifth as i to the fourth times i to the first power. Right? Well, i to the fourth is just one, right? And then you're just left with i to the first power. So you just take what the remainder is. <laughs> Bless you. You're just going to take what the remainder is, and that's going to tell you what you can rewrite that power as. Yes. So after you get from like I4 to like I5, does the cycle just basically like repeat itself? Like yeah, I mean, this is just like canceling it out. Like, let's look at yeah. I to the yeah. ninth. Okay. Again, you can rewrite that as I to the fourth times I to the fourth. Remember, you add exponents, right? Four plus four is eight, plus one is nine. Well, what if these both equal I to the fourth equals what? One. Mm -hmm. So it'd be one times one times I. So that's why I can rewrite i to the ninth as just i. So basically you divide it by 4 and whatever the remainder is, is To make four. it in simplistic terms, yes. You always divide by 4? Mm -hmm. Yes, because there's only 4 options. Because once you get up to 4, it resets, right? Oh, okay. So okay. that's why you want to Or you could spend your time counting. Um, oh, right. I want to do that. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to divide easier by to 4 and find the remainder. Oh, yeah. So, so i to the 50th, we look at this and we say, how many times does 4 go into there? Well. 12 is going to give us 48, so my remainder would be 2. two. So my okay. remainder of 2, this can be rewritten as negative 1. 67, I have my remainder, I goes into there, well, 4 goes into 40 10 times, and then what, 24 would be the next time, so then 10 plus 16? 16, so what's the remainder of 4 times 16? 64. So it'd be a remainder of 3, so it'd be negative i. I still don't get that. But how many times does 4 go into 67? Let me see. Watch. 4 goes into 6. Just watch. 4 goes into 6, how many times? 16. 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Drop it down. 2 goes into 27. How many times? 4 goes into 27. 4 goes into 27. 6. 6 times 4 is 24. My remainder is 3, right? It goes in there 16 times. That means it repeats over 16 times. But then I have a remainder of 3. We take whatever our remainder is, and that's our exponent. So it's i equals to negative 1. Then it's i to the 4th, because it's repeated. It's just 1. If you don't have a remainder, then it's i to the 4th power. So why can't we just count? You can. you can. Go ahead. 
Yeah. If you want to count all the way to 67, who I guess. Yeah. Right. But you, all you're doing is, it's the same, same thing. thing. Just, it's the same thing like this. But it's so much faster. But, it, but you're for counting, it's just multiplication is just doing addition like over and over, right? Right? right. You're just doing addition over and over and right, over again. Right. I mean, that's all you're, you're just, by dividing it in there, you're just simplifying the process. You can count it if you want to. Yes? I kind of remember easier way. Okay. Like, all you do is take the number divided by four, the calculator, and whatever the number gives you, like if it's 0.25, then it's I to the first, if it's point five zero, the I to the second. How is that easy? It's easy because like, think about a quarter. Yeah, like yeah, one quarter yeah. is I, two quarters is I, so it's negative one, and then that works. 75 is not easier. It's the whole number than the four. Oh, That's four a lot of times if you have a calculator, that would be a very good way to look at it as well. Yeah, very good. So basically you just